My first experience with Uplift was when I was homeless and living out on the streets and they came by three nights a week to uh, give us a hot meal and hot chocolate or lemonade and the little things that we needed to uh, get by. Uplift began in January of 1991. Uh, the three men that founded the organization had volunteered with Salvation Army and they seen whether a shelter or mis and missions in the greater Kansas City area, no one was going out on the street to serve the homeless that didn't go into shelter and missions, so-called hardcore homeless. They began very humbly in the back porch of a home with a, a pickup truck and a shell on the back. We have now uh, moved to the fact that we have three vehicles that go out three nights a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Uh, we're taking supplies that just aid the homeless on the street. We take a hot meal, we take drinks, we take coffee, a hot chocolate, lemonade. Uh, we take um, canned goods, clothing, over-the-counter medicines, hygiene items, anything to help them just exist. Not to promulgate their life on the street, but just make sure they exist and are safe. November of 98, I noticed I had trouble walking and after some prodding by the uplift group, I realized that I had uh, frostbite on both, both feet and they were very instrumental in getting me the medical attention I needed. You know, the faces, you remember the faces of so many of these people time and time again. You know, some of the people we've gone out on, on many routes and some of these people you see every single time you go out. I'm here for um, helping, helping the um, poor people. I do it because I know what the purpose is and I know that I'm helping someone else as I do it. It's, it's amazing. And I just, I just want to keep coming here for a long time. Why it runs so smoothly is that we have no paid staff whatsoever. Uh, everybody's responsible for everything else. You know, there's not one responsibility for anybody. Our family has actually cooked over 17,000 meals during the last 13 years. And when I think of that, it sort of sounds like, gosh, that's a lot. But it doesn't really feel like it's been that much because it feels like we've gotten more back from it growing together and participating in a community. The, the true reason to be here is just to help out my fellow man, to put it bluntly. And um, it, not, I'm not looking for anything from it other than the fact of just the satisfaction of helping out people that are need. When I was out on the street, I looked forward to seeing, you know, some of the regulars just come and talk and because a lot of times you don't have anybody to talk to when you're out there. It's really hard to get off the street when you're homeless. And and the real sad thing about it is they probably did nothing to get on the streets. They probably just had really, really bad luck. Something out of their control, completely out of their control just happened in their lives. And now they're on the streets. It's something that could happen to any of us and I think most people don't realize that, and I mean, it just makes the feeling of helping someone out much that much greater because it could be you. We are very grateful to these volunteers, as we are to the community that support our efforts.